Ladies and gentlemen, Greg Michalowski from ForexLive.com. This is a Forex Quick Look. I'm going to take a look at the dollar versus Canada. Today's date is June 7, 2024. In addition to the U.S. jobs report, which was stronger than expectations, the Canadian jobs report was released today as well. But and that came in about as expected. The unemployment change was 26.7 thousand versus 22.5. But the mix was a little bit more on the softer side with the full-time employment showing a decline of 35.6 thousand versus a 62.4 gain in the part-time employment uh, full-time jobs are all, often better than part-time jobs so it's a uh, so it was a little bit negative in that respect the unemployment rate did tick up to 6.2 percent from 6.1 percent and the participation rate remains steady at 6.65.4 percent let's take a look at the technicals that are driving this currency pair with all that fundamental stuff out of the way let's get started Looking at the uh, four-hour chart uh, in uh, trading trading of uh, this week, the uh, market low was uh, earlier this week against this uh, trend line. This trend line connects well a low going back here to a low here, and we bounce support against this trend line here and uh, started its rotation to the upside. The move to the upside did get above this trend line up through here that connected recent highs, and uh, the the uh, you know buyers uh, uh, reacted uh, positively but fell short of this high right through here creating a uh, ceiling and uh, quickly rotating back to the downside for uh, the uh, pair back below the trend line and all the way back down toward the uh, 200 and 100 bar moving averages on the four hour chart. The price couldn't get below the uh, 200, the 100 bar moving average in trading yesterday and rotated back to the upside and then searched the upside off of the U.S. jobs report. The high price that we did see here, here was able to get back above the broken trend line again. Uh, but uh, this and uh, this time the, uh, the high price have fell short of the high price from earlier the week and these high prices spread through here as well and we are seeing uh some uh we did see some rotation back to the downside but we are back above this trend line right here and uh pushing again toward the high prices the current price of the dollar versus canada is trading at 1.3728 uh so uh, right near the high of this uh, swing area through here the high price from a few weeks ago came in at 1.3742 we're going to need to get above that and stay above that level um, uh, and uh, if you want to use a, a close risk level, although it's really not acting all that great, uh, you can use the old trend line here right around the 1.37, I don't know, it looks like around the 20 level. Uh, as long as the price can remain above that level, the bias remain more, uh, more in control or fully in control. But we do need to get above the 1.3742 level. Uh, uh, so buyers are uh, taking control, taking their clues from the U.S. dollar. In trading here today, we're also seeing the euro versus U.S. dollar extend to new lows, the sterling versus U.S. dollar extend to new low lows, and the dollar versus yen extend to new highs. So it's across the board, we're seeing uh, increased uh, dollar buying. Uh, we'll see if that can continue. My name is Greg Michalowski. Good fortune with your trading. Bye-bye now.